Okay, so the first thing that you do is place your paper on fold and then from the center um, front, you mark out five inches. You mark out five inches on top and then on the bottom. Then you connect the lines. label five inches so this is the depth of the wrap the wrap top um and this is dependent on you so now i marked out on my um whole length and then my um, waist um length plus 0 0.5 inch thin allowance to join it to the flare on the bottom then i roll Yeah, I'm just fixing the um, the line I made earlier. After marking that out, I go on the shoulder line and mark half of my shoulder, which is uh, eight inches. And on that line also, I mark down my uh, chest line, which is nine inches. And then I I connect it. I connect the lines. On that shoulder line, I go down by one inch, and that's going to be the shoulder length. Then I mark my neck uh, weight, uh, neck length, which is four inches, and my neck dip, depth is uh, five inches. Then from the four inches, I make the uh, mark to the one inch length, and use the French curve to connect my uh, neckline. Then on the on the chest line, this is where I'll be placing my bust measurements, which is the bust divided by four plus one inch seam allowance. That is what I just did here. I mark my what of my bust here and connect the lines and on the waistline also you will divide your waist by four plus one inch seam allowance place it and then connect from waist to your bust measurement on the armhole uh, line find the midpoint and on that midpoint you will go in by quarter inch so we can you know create our armhole this is for the front only for the back we don't do the we don't go in by three quarter inch you just um, mark it as says then on the waistline you're going to uh, go up by two inches you go in by two you go up by two inches but first you extend the line and then at the end of the at the end of the center fold on the folded edge mark two inches up this is where the belt will be placed after your fabric is cut out then using your french curve or your ruler go from the edge of the neckline and connect it all the way to the two inch mark you made and then your um your pattern is ready to be cut out so I cut it out and when you cut it out it's going to have two different patterns one for the left and one for the um, right side
just after cutting it out, you just split open the two inches uh, mark. And that's how the pattern looks like after you cut it out. So now for the back pattern, I placed my, fa uh, my pattern paper on fold again. And then the first thing that I did is mark out two inches and draw a line all the way down. This is going to be my zipper allowance. You can use one inch or one and a half inch if you wish to as well. So after marking that, then I place my um, chest, um, the chest line and then my waistline. I'm sorry, my camera, I didn't realize my camera was not positioned well to see what I was doing in the, at the bottom. So here I marked out my chest line and then on the bottom I mark out my waist line. And then on the shoulder line, I mark my shoulder which is 8 inches and on that line I draw it down to meet the chest line I drew earlier then I'm using uh, again four inches uh, neck length and make my one inch chest line on the shoulder line and then connect it to the four inches for the neck length and I'm using two inches for the neck depth for the back then I use my curve ruler and connect the lines together to form my neck. On the shoulder, on the shoulder line, um, the armhole line, I found I find the midpoint and you mark it there. Then I place my bust measurement on the chest line, which is. Uh, Bust divide by four plus one inch as seam allowance. Then using my French curve, I mark out my armhole for the back. I also went on the uh, waistline and mark out waist, my waist divide by 4 plus 1 inch seam allowance. Here I'm making my um, nipple to nipple measurement. This is where I'll be placing my dart. And then I mark it all the way down to my waist. And on the waistline, you're going to mark um, half inch on both sides of the nipple to nipple measurement. And then you connect your dart line from your chest line down to the waist line where you mark the half inch. Just connecting my waist measurement to my bust measurement and that's it your the pattern is ready to be cut out
that's the for the back and yeah I just wanted to fix my um my that all the way up you can leave it uh, on that or if you want to go by one inch up and connect the lines so you just label your pattern back and you'll be cutting two of that or you just split it in the middle where the zipper will be okay now this is the front piece on the fabric now I'm cutting it out as you can see you have to place it um, on the right side of the fabric make sure they are facing each other so you don't make the mistake of cutting cutting it wrongly This is the back piece and I placed it and cut two of this out for the back. Now here I'm um, cutting the sleeve. So for the sleeve you'll be, you'll be using your armhole round minus 2.5 inches and then divide that by 6.5 to 28 inches and then you cut it out then use the other the one you cut out and place on another fabric to cut the second one you will also cut the the flare for the bottom in the same manner but you will be using your waist measurement divide by 6.8 and cut it out as i did here because somehow i lost the footage where i was cutting the the flare for the bottom so the same way you first you will measure your waist measurement divide that by 6.2 inches that's where you mark on the top and then on the mark all the way around for your length on the bottom and then you will cut it out okay now so here i am cutting out the belt i'll use um three inches I place my fabric on fold and using three inches by 40 inches length three inches wide by 40 inches wide and then I roll and cut it out so when you open it up when you fold it in it will be one and a half inches for the belt As you can see here, I placed it like that and, and that's it. That's just it. So easy top to make. Thanks for watching. Bye. And see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share, like.